Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about more hashes, just to get some more hashes under our belt. Uh, on the P drive, I gave you a file that I'm going to use um, called, where is it? In my Jones 282 folder, there's a file called stateshash.txt. So if you copy that, I've already created this long file that we're going to utilize today in class. So you can go copy that to your own file. And this is, uh, for those asking, this is using the hash rocket. This is the older Ruby 1.8 version. Uh, the new version uses uh, a colon. Um, I like the hash rocket just because that's where I came from. Also, uh, PHP uses the same format, the same structure. So, so when we to create a hash, we use uh, curly braces to surround all of this information, right? And we so I'm going to put a curly brace at the beginning, curly brace at the end. And then I need to assign that to something. So I'm going to assign that to some variable. I'm going to call it states. And for nice indenting purposes, I'm going to indent all of this stuff. So that, uh, that's the way I would expect a hard-coded hash to look like. All right, so in this case, what is this value? What do we call this value that's on the left of the hash rocket? the key, and this is the value, okay? So we have a key and a value associated with each other. And we can do lots of fun stuff with this with the key and the value. So for instance, I want to just to, just to rehash some stuff, pun intended. Uh -huh. I can say put states, and I wanna, I wanna look at what is the abbreviation for Wyoming? So how would I look that up in my hash? Right? Yeah, I put Wyoming into my as the key, and it's going to look this up and find out who's what is associated with my Wyoming. Well, I have a string with a W and a Y in it. So if I run this, uh oh. Pause. We have some problems here. Uh, it wouldn't run because I left it as a text file. Uh, I forgot to add what to my hash here? Commas, right? I need to separate all of these guys. Um, so I need to put commas after all of these. Sorry about that. There's probably an easier way to do this with a graph expression, but this is just as fast. So. We're going to add commas. This is fun. Yeah, save it for you guys. <laughs> All right, do I need a comma on the last one? No, very good. All right, so now I can run this. And I get WY. So I get this the value associated with looking up the key in my hash. All right, isn't that great? All right, how would I go through this hash and print out both the key and the value on one line like a record uh, on, on one line at a time. I need the loop, okay, so what kind of loop do I want to use? Well, in hashes, uh, a while loop doesn't work the same way. It doesn't give me that kind of flexibility, so I need to use the each loop, so I'm going to say Given my state's hash, I want to call the each method on it. And I need to have 
uh, some goalpost variables that get filled in with the key and the value for every iteration of my loop. So what do I want to call them? Well, you could call them key and value, value but I like to call it I think something that's more specific to the data we're dealing with. So I'm going to get a single state from my states plural array. And plurality and singularity are important when we get to rails. So it's a good idea to, to get used to this. And then the, the next one might be called what? Abbreviation, right? That makes it really clear what I'm going to do with this. And I have my do and my end. And these are my two variables that are going to get filled in. So now how would I print out each state and abbreviation? Puts. Puts what? State. All right. And I'll put abbreviation on the same line with a comma. Let's see what it looks like. All right. So with a comma, it printed the state and its abbreviation on a separate line. But I want them to be on the same line. So how would I fix that? Pardon me? Parentheses. All right. So let's use parentheses around this whole thing and use the interpolation symbol to have the state and the abbreviation. So I'm going to put sharp and curly braces around each of these as one big long string. And it will fill in the variables that I get from, from each iteration and print them out on the same line. Look at that. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. Isn't that nice? <coughs> All right, any questions about that so far? Does that make sense? All right, given this same structure, how would I go about finding the state that has, uh, that only starts with W? All the states that start with W. Well, I'm going to do the same, so I'm still waiting. I'm going to do the same loop, because that's the way we loop through our hash. There's really only one way to do that. But then how do I tell to only print out if the state starts with a W? Pardon me? All right, good. So I'm going to have an if, what? What do I what am I checking for? State what? State is what type of variable? A string. So it contains all of the letters on the key right here, right? Everything in here. So how would, how might I only get the first letter? Pardon me? If I say like this, right, I don't have any states that are only a W, so that's not quite right. Yes, Brennan. Yes, with Ruby 1.9 and up, up, they changed the the way that you access strings, and. Uh, before, well, I won't even get in, it'll confuse you. So state is just an array of single characters. You, could, you can access it like an array of single characters. So if I say, what, how would I get the first character out of a string? Yep, state, and we index it by zero, and we can now compare that against the W. And if that's the case, what do I want to do? Yeah, I, I'm going to print out the entire record, so I'm going to do this entire thing here, print out the state at that point in time and its abbreviation, and then we're going to go on to the next one. So let's see if that works. So let's... Uh, uh, sure, I could change that to anything I want. That would be a good thing. No. 
but it's the same concept. Instead of iterating through the hash, I'm iterating through what? My array, and I'm still doing the same thing, looking for the first character. And this might be a, something I get from the user, right? There, I went ahead and wrote some code for you. So this is uh, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. So I can change this if I want to look at all the A's, run it again. That gives me all my Alabama, et cetera. Let's take this guy uh, out so that doesn't confuse you. All right, isn't that great? All right, any questions on that? All right, now, how would I go through and print out only state, the, uh, print out the longest state, the longest state in terms of characters of the state name? Right? I want you to go do that right now, and I will pause. Okay, so uh, let's see how we might work this problem out. So we're going to do the same kind of a structure. We need to loop through all of our values here. <coughs> and instead of just comparing the uh, first letter, we need to compare uh, other stuff, right? So how do I get, how do I find out how long a state or a string is? Length, right? So I could call string.length and use that information to compare something. So to do that, I need to have something to compare against. So what we, we need is to have some variable that we're going to be utilizing in that Boolean expression to compare against. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it longest. And I'm going to set it to uh, the longest state that I've seen so far. Now, in this case, it's a little difficult to get out the first element of a hash. So I'm just going to say that it's equal to zero. All right? That's the longest I've found so far. That's, that's OK. And I want to compare now, as I'm walking through the states, I'm picking up the chocolates off the conveyor belt. I'm looking at it. I'm comparing it. And I want that, if it's longer than what I've seen so far, this longest variable, then I want to do something with that. So if it's longer than zero the first time through, it's always going to be true because the length of, of Alabama is going to be longer than what I've seen so far, which is zero. So in that case, I want to, I want to save the value of what I've seen late, lately. So what is the value? What should I change my longest value to now? Okay, so I'm going to change it longest equals state what? Dot length. Okay, that's better. Uh, I want to I want to save the longest state that I've seen so far, which happens to be the one I'm looking at, and I save that so that future comparisons are now comparing against that value. All right. So I don't want to print out anything. Um, and we're, we're almost there, but not quite. Let's just print out uh, longest when we finish this, this loop, okay? Let's see what longest has in it when we run this, all right? So we'll run it, and I get 30. So one of these states up here, one of these states up here has 30. It's probably this one, which is, these are not all states. These are possessions and have, you know, this is where Obama gets 57 from, I think. So... This is, uh, so the longest is 30, but how does that help us? How do we know then to print out an entire record of the state name that matches the 30? There you go, I need to save, when I found the longest one, I need to save an index at some point, right? So I need to save uh, the index of the longest so far. All right, so what is that? What am I saving?
What is the index in this case? State. Okay, so I need to save the value of state. And I need a variable to put that in. So I'm going to say uh, longest key. And I'm going to have it set to nothing. And I'm going to say longest key equals what? State. I'm going to save the value. I mean, the key, the string, is going to go into longest key. So now I can print out longest and I can print out uh, longest key, and let's see what I get. We're getting closer. All right, so I get federated states of Micronesia. That was the state, that was the key that I saved as I got 30, all right? So those two values are important to me. Um, but the, the only one I really care about is the, uh, the longest key. I can use that information to, to do like I did up here. I might, I might use that information here. And the state is going to be uh, the longest key, because I already know what that is. What, how do I get the abbreviation given that key now? I have the key. I need to look up the key in the states array, right? So I say states sub longest key, all right? So this is a string which represents uh, federated states of Micronesia. And if I'm looking that up, up here, the value, that's the key. The value that's going to come back is going to be the FM here. Does everybody see that? So when I print states sub longest key, it's looking up the value associated with the longest key, which is a string in this case. So there we go, Federated States of Micronesia FM. So that's all I needed to know. Uh, that is the longest state in my hash. Everybody see that? So I could do the same thing for smallest state, the, the, the shortest state, I guess, would be the right word. Uh, saving different things, saving the key, all of that is uh, useful uh, for the assignment after next, the one we, where you actually get to use hashes. So, But the same structure of looping through some structure to get uh, smallest and largest is the same that you're going to use in this assignment, finding the youngest person or the oldest person, etc. You're going to use that same kind of a structure. Any questions on all of that? Okay, yep. True. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we didn't get to that. Uh, this would save which one? It would save. The first one, because uh, if they were identical, this loop would never finish. So if the state dot length was 30 and longest was 30, it would skip this completely. So it would save the, the first one. If I changed it to this, it would save the last one it found. So there's different ways of doing that. I could save every one that matched that. There's lots of ways to change that, but you're right. If they're the identical, you're only going to find one. All right. Any questions on that? All right. Yeah, I'd have to do an if if they're equal, save it again. And I'd probably have to have an array of the keys. You know, it'd be a little more difficult to do. <laughs> an array of the keys, yeah. Pardon me? Oh, so you did a whole nother loop <coughs> and printed out all those that were 30. Yeah, that would that would work too. A uh, little more inefficient because I'm looping through these array these hashes twice, but that would certainly work. Absolutely. All right, good, 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 good.